Egypt now has a really precious moment of opportunity to have a government that can bring the country together. We believe it must be a government that starts to put in place the building blocks of a truly open, free and democratic society. And of course, what has happened today should only be the first step. Those who now run Egypt have a duty to reflect the wishes of the Egyptian people. And in particular, there really must be a move to civilian and democratic rule as part of this important transition to an open, democratic and free Egypt. The people of Egypt have spoken, their voices have been heard, and Egypt will never be the same. By stepping down, President Mubarak responded to the Egyptian people's hunger for change. But this is not the end of Egypt's transition. It's a beginning. I'm sure there will be difficult days ahead, and many questions remain unanswered. But I am confident that the people of Egypt can find the answers and do so peacefully, constructively, and in the spirit of unity that has defined these last few weeks. For Egyptians have made it clear that nothing less than genuine democracy will carry the day. Today is a day of great joy. We are all witnesses to an historic moment of change, and I am happy with the people in Egypt, the millions of people on the streets. In their eyes, you can see what power freedom can have, and I wish the people on their way toward a new society the same courage that they have already proven in the past days.